because I'm actually challenging what some people consider the gospel. Because what I've been taught is the gospel is, in, in essence, Christians wouldn't say it like this, but this is pretty much the summary. Believe or burn. Right, so it's kind of like believe God loves you so much, man. Oh, yeah, He died on the cross for your sin, dude. That's amazing. But you have to believe in Him. But what happens if I don't? Oh, you're gonna burn. <laughs> that, that's that's pretty much a summary of what the gospel is. But no one would really say it like that. They'll just say, "Oh, God loves you," but He provided a way. Yeah. But now you have to ask Him. Say, "But you're telling me if I don't love Him back, <laughs> He's gonna supernaturally sustain you, not for millions of years." Not for even billions of years, but forever in a place called eternal conscious torment. Simply because you didn't love him back. Then you really have to wonder, what does the term unconditional love really even mean in the first place? Because I say God loves you unconditionally, but it's God loves you but. God loves you if you obey his word or obey his command. And so I'm trying, I, in my book, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to show that there's another way to see Christianity in a non-judgmental, non-violent, because believe it or not, many religious people are very violent. We're like very active in pro-war. <laughs> you know, we could debate about all these things all day, but, but really you have to get to the heart of the matter. Does the message that we share look like Jesus Christ? And from what I see, a lot of the, the fundamentalist Western Christianity that I see now in America, it's actually everywhere, but I see a lot here, obviously. It looks very different than the message that I see of, of Jesus Christ of forgiveness and grace and hanging out with people that we quote unquote call sinners, you know, and I don't even use that terminology these days.